Hello, and welcome back to Benjamite Gaming, where it's my goal to bring you fun and fantastic Dofus PVM content. Now, as you can see, my screen looks a little different than usual. I had something cool happen here recently. The Dofus Twitter page here was doing a giveaway where you just retweet the posting, and then you enter into a contest to have your name possibly drawn to win a giveaway. And I won the giveaway. If you look down here, it says, and the six spellbook mystery boxes go to, drum roll, doo -doo 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 -doo, at Benjamite Game. I was like, in fact, the first message I sent to them was, did I read that right? Did I actually win? I was blown away. I've never won a giveaway before. It's so cool to have that actually happen. So I figure, you know, there's a lot of channels that do those unboxing events where they'll get a new thing and then they unbox it in front of you to show you what all is inside and everything. Well, obviously I can't really do that with this kind of a channel, but I thought, well, this could be kind of cool to do as a quote unquote unboxing. So I figure I'm gonna open all six of these here on the video. And I think I might link this up with the next Quest to 200 video. So that might be following this portion of it. And if that is the case, I'll put a timestamp here. If you're not really interested in this part and you wanna just jump straight to where the quests begin, just jump to this time right there and, and that'll get you going. But if you wanna see what I get, let's do this. <laughs> All right, the first thing I thought I would do is show you these are the things that you can get in these boxes. So there's one for each element. There's one here, which is a magic codex. There's the Shusham codex, which looks awesome. That little eye and everything looks really cool. And you got a 1% chance of hitting the jackpot. And it looks like you get one of everything. I'm not holding my breath on that one, but I figured first thing I would do was show you what you can get out of these boxes. Okay, now let's head over to open up the packages. All right, so here we are. I've got six of these. So let's just go ahead and click the first one. I have no idea really what to expect here. Open, skip the animation. Well, there doesn't appear to be much of an animation going on. Hey, I got the codex. That was a 10% chance. Okay, open another, open, and we'll just go ahead and skip the animation. Oh, there's the Terra, nice. One down, three to go. We'll skip that. Oh, there's another Terra. Open another. Let's see what we get. Skip. Oh, <laughs> three Terras in a row. That's terrible. <laughs> you knew I was going to do it. You knew this video would have a corny joke in there somewhere. I couldn't resist. All right, let's do another one. Well, we're gonna let the animation go. Maybe that's the trick to get something something different. I got the rare one. Look at that. I got the Shusham. That's awesome. Oh, wow. Okay, so I got one more, I believe. We're gonna let the animation go because apparently that's what you gotta do to get the good stuff. Jackpot, jackpot. Hey, I got another one of those. Oh, that's awesome. Cool. Well, there we go. So I got, I got two Shushams three Terras and the Magic Codex. So that's really cool. All right, so let's head over to the game and take a look at those. All right, here we go. Here it is. Oh, and it's gotta go on a Pets Mount. I don't know if I even have a Pets Mount. Do I have a, I use Drago Turkeys and Rye Needles. Well, a lot of good that's gonna do me at the moment. Does it come with any emojis? Maybe it only works when I put it on. Okay, let's go see if we can find a really cheap Pets Mount real quick. Okay, I found literally the cheapest thing I could find is this Madragon. Let's put that, uh, you don't meet the criteria. Subscribers only, know the emote superhero. Oh, I can't even wear this. Oh, <laughs> well, that kind of sucks. <laughs> Fail. All right, well, I can't try this out yet. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna have to, at some point, track down a Pets Mount so I can check this out and see what it's like. Once I've figured that out, I'll do a follow-up to this at some point so that you guys can see what it looks like, if you haven't already. Perhaps you've already seen people running around with this, but my attempt here was a, a fail. But thank you again if you're watching. I think that's like the official English Twitter account there. 
I don't know if I just refer to you as Ankama or what, but thank you again. I mean, I, I know I was a random drawing, but still, it's pretty awesome you guys did that giveaway and that I was able to win that. And I really appreciate it. You guys are amazing. I love your game very much, and I'm glad I get to be a part of promoting it. So uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, that was fun. Now on to our quest to 200 along the main storyline of Dofus. Now, technically, we're not on the main story at the moment. We're on a little bit of a side quest at the moment. Because we're trying to get the Dokuku Dofus. And that's because we were waiting on our mounts to have their babies. So let's zip to Bonta real quick and see if we got any babies available. All right, so I just checked the paddocks for all four characters. We got two people who have had their babies, two people who have not. So we're waiting on just a little bit more and then we'll be able to move forward on the Emerald Dofu's quest line. I'm so excited. Oh, we're getting close. Oh, speaking of that, I have a poll on my Twitter account right now asking for people to vote which one they want me to go for next, Crimson or Turquoise. So if you've got a minute, bring that up real fast and place your vote. Right now, Crimson is just barely beating out Turquoise. So I don't know which way it's gonna go yet, but it's a poll that I got up for several days. So hopefully it'll give you time to get over there and place your bet. All right, now let's head back over to Moon Island. The next thing we need to do is run that LaCruche dungeon and beat the pirate over there. So let's head there next. All right, here we are at the LaCruche. I'm probably saying that wrong every time, but we're at the boat. We're at the boat. And of course, it's full of pirates, so we gotta speak our pirate talk. So let's see, what does Jack Martell say here? Halt! Whoever wishes to set foot aboard the Dark Hall must prove they've got pirate soul. A true filibuster always has at least one key on them, so they can open a freshly dug up treasure chest. Go on, brother from the coast, show us what you've got, or go on your way. Alright, well we got our bunch of keys. And I don't think I've run this dungeon yet, so this should be entertaining. Alright, so I'm going to put this to some music, and I will pick things back up in the boss room. We have arrived and man this guy's room looks amazing wow they got coins oh look there's a worm poking through there this looks so cool never never not sure what it says there I I'm always curious that there's like little Easter eggs planted on some of these maps and places like this and and so makes me wonder it's like what what are what that says there all right, so let's see, what are the achievements for this guy? I don't think I've fought this dungeon yet. Okay, kill him last, and characters must use all of their MP without being locked. What is what is the level of this dungeon? Level 90? 
Should I try a score of 200? I think I should. I think I should try the score of 200. Of course, if you see me die, you'll see it in the video. Just, I don't think I've ever come out and said this. If I die in a match, I will leave it in the video. So don't think that just because you see the fight in the video, it means I lived. Because I made that a deal to myself when I first started. I was like, well, if I know I'm only going to put the ones that I succeed in, it kind of steals away any moments that there might be, oh my gosh, he might not make it. Not that it matters too much on Echo, but if I did a heroic server, oh, we'd be on the edge of our seat then, wouldn't we? <laughs> All right, so let's do this. Let's see what kind of a setup do we got here. Is has one arm? I forget, is it has one arm or is it the cannons? I think it's the has one arms that can make them disappear. That's the only thing that's kind of tricky out of these guys. I know this guy can hit fairly decent. I just buffed him, what, 150%, something like that? All right, who's gonna be, let's see, stay in the same spot. Females must, male players do the final blow. I'm not really too worried about those. Okay, this guy's weak to earth. And we need to kill these guys first. And I need to use all my MP. Let's put you back. Hit you with this. That would kill you. Oh, well. Okay. Let's at least try to get that top bonus. That's not going to kill him. Use my next MP. Okay. That's it there. Looking pretty good. We got some drunken pirate. Ooh. Ouch. Ow. Ow. Man, that drunken pirate. He put some hurt on. What's up with that? Okay. Let's hit you with this. Looks like chance is the way to go on you. Hit you again. Use on my MP. All right. Now let's see if we can finish some people off here. I knew these guys could hit pretty good. The little snicker blade ones. Okay, you're going to try to stop lock me, aren't you? And I don't want that to happen. Let's see, this one's pushback, I believe. Let's finish you off. And then I don't think I can finish you, so I'm gonna put this back here. That way I can keep this guy focused, hopefully on killing things and not have to do much along the line of healing. Seems like a pretty good plan, right? Okay, here we go. A lot of screaming and hollering there. Let's see, Pirate's Curse. I, I need to, I know Defy posted a website you can go to where you can find out exactly what these spells do. Because sometimes I just look at this, it says Pirate's Curse, and I don't really know what that does. But that would be nice if I could see the details a little easier. Perhaps there is a way and I'm just missing it. I could easily see that being the issue. Ooh, let's see. Can I finish him off? Maybe if I get next to him, get that shield buff. Oh yeah. Two down, two to go. I don't know if this will do any good there, but I got the AP for it, so let's do it. All right, let's see. Let's put this here. I can whoop on you. I just can't kill you. Uh, let's see. That's gonna. What's this gonna do? Ooh, here we go. Boom. All right. That's. He's pretty much a goner now. And let's see. I guess I can start hitting on this guy now. Let's go here so I can get some pushback on him. Three, five. Here we go. Hopefully that pirate's curse isn't going to do anything really bad to me after doing that to him. I don't think it's going to be an issue. I got a feeling until I start getting up to like Frigos level dungeons, there's probably not a whole lot I really need to worry about. Ooh, he's weak to fire. Okay, well I want to take advantage of that. Get you here and here. And then Greybeard. Yeah, Greybeard's probably going to finish him off. Oh, use my MP. Did I use all my MP that last turn? Oh, no. How do I always mess that one up? I don't know if I used all my MP. I mean, I guess I'll know here in a minute. But I think I fail that challenge more than any other is use all my MP. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing all your grunting and groaning. Alright, so I'm gonna hopefully find out I still passed. Use all the MP. I've been focused on trying to make sure I get this challenge over here. Okay, let's see what achievements we got. Last score of 200. No, I didn't. Oh, I bet it was because the only time I didn't think about it was when I was using the Fekka that one turn. So I think gotcha got me. I wonder what these gobble surprise type of candy. Hmm. Oh, these little banana things are still fresh on my mind because Temporis, well, it's actually still going on at the moment, but when I was playing on Temporis, I was trying to drop these for a quest and it had like a one or two percent drop rate with my chance based character and I needed eight of them. I was like, what? There's no way me running around by myself. I'm going to get eight of them. And now look at this one fight. I land five of them. That's cool. All right. Let's see what La Cruz has to say. <laughs> Arr, 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 not by the, not by the putrefied entrails of the great Kralov. If my, <laughs> arr, 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 not by the putrid entrails of the great Kralov. Arr, not by the putrid entrails of the great Kralov. If my crew wasn't full of good for nothings, you would have never beaten me. And you, Telltale, stop chuckling, or I'll rip out your wing bones one by one. Command to give back the amulet. That's what we want. Observe that the right hand is shaking. I don't know what that means. We want the Mama Voodoo's amulet. You working for the wrinkled old bag? I hate her. Her and her bewitchments. It was a game of voodoo darts that turned me into a ghost. I've got nothing to do with the necklace you're talking about. Why on earth would I go and steal a witch's amulet? I've got enough trouble and strife as it is. Express some doubts about his innocence. Some of my crew members spend their time harassing cannibals. It is possible it may have been one of them who did the deed without telling me about it. I'm going to have to tighten things up around here, or I'll have a mutiny on my hands. I can't even hang one of these rascals from the yardums to make an example out of them, nor make them walk the plank. Ask where to find the crew members. They amble around all over the skull path to avoid doing any chores. The minute they get back on the boat, I'll set them to swabbing the deck. Let's go look for them pirates. Oh, and he's got a quest for us. However, it's not the quest we're working on, so I'm going... I've been trying to avoid just picking up quests as we go along. That way, if we ever come back to do a quest line, like this one here, we are seeing it as it happens and not just picking up wherever I randomly left off. So, we are going to leave the boat. All right, now let me get the rest of the crew out here real fast. All right, we got the whole crew out here. Now we need to go talk to four pirates, I believe it is. And the first one is right outside the entrance of this cave. So let's zip up there real quick and talk to that one. All right, here we are. No Tufni. No Tufni. I don't know if they're trying to say like he has no teeth. I mean, it does look like it's just like drawn on there. Like it's just sketched. No Tufni. All right. All right, no Tufni, what do you got to say? Did the captain take you on as a new ship's apprentice? You've still got skin on your bones. But don't worry, it'll soon fall off by itself. Oh, I hope not. Ask him where he was last night. I can't tell you. It's a secret. Reply that you'll be as silent as the grave. He's already dead. He's nothing but bones. What are we supposed to do to him? Ha ha, that's a good one. I'll use that one myself. <laughs> Apparently he gets the joke. Okay, I give in. So I'm putting together a little play to celebrate the captain's birthday. I spent the whole night rehearsing with Great Beard. He's going to play Spotted Dick. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the famous pirate. I tried to do that without laughing. <laughs> the famous pirate. And I'm going to play La Cruch. We're going to kill it on the stage. Take note of this and leave. 
All right, one down. Okay, now we need to go talk to Throat Slicer. That's a really easy one to understand, which is at 31.4, I think it said. So let's zip over there real fast. All right, Throat Slicer, where were you at? Don't go near any of my chest or I'll carve you a second smile. <laughs> Something tells me he's not an expert in smiles. Remark that his chest looks rather empty. Ask him where he was last night. Oh, his chest. <laughs> I was like, well, yeah, he's bones. Of course his chest is going to be empty. <laughs> oh, they're talking about these here. Okay, well, maybe that's a different quest. I was with Toofney. We were knocking back a few glasses of rum. He was pulling my leg bone with his tall stories. Take note of this. That's not where... No, Toofney said he was. This guy looks suspicious. All right, we got two more. The, and the next one's going to be right over at 32.5. Right, here's Great Beard. He does got a pretty great beard. I gotta say, old Gray Beard though, his is better. Don't you worry, Gray Beard. He ain't got nothing on you. <laughs> oh, need a little haircut, Swabby? I'll give you a close shave for free, and you won't even need another. It's the best way to get the hair to keep my beard looking luxuriant. Ask him where he was last night. Sniffles a yawn. I haven't had a wink of sleep in all night. I must be looking really dead today. Notufni insisted on rehearsing this play he's putting on. Ever since he bamboozled the cannibals, he cakes himself for a great actor. But oh well, at least it's something to do. You tend to get bored to death when you're dead. <laughs> I can appreciate a corny joke built right into the game. I didn't even have to deliver that one it was done for me all right take note of this okay we got one more to talk to fat bob which is just one over here to the right so let's go talk to fat bob ah oh, i guess fat bob just means you wear bigger pants <laughs> he's still just bones it's cooking some bananas look at that all right fat bob what you got where were you last night i would prefer to enjoy my bananas flambéed in rum and if you don't mind in peace and quiet what do you want Ask him, where was he last night? And what's that got to do with you? I don't have to explain myself to random tourists exploring the jungle. Let me eat my dessert in peace. Threaten to denounce him as a mutineer in front of La Cruz. I saw straight away that you were a highly disreputable individual. What sad times we live in when adventures turn out to be worse than pirates. <laughs> Give us a response. I admit it. I disobeyed the captain. I've made a pact with the enemy, but it's for the right reasons. What does he mean? I'm in charge of all the cooking on board of Dark Hall. I know we don't have to eat to live anymore, but that's no reason not to enjoy good food. In order to get some fresh new ideas for my recipes, I spend the whole night deep in conversation with the cannibal chef. He taught me a whole ton of things, like how to marinate meat in coconut milk or chuck together a really good hash using yesterday's leftovers. The natives here are much more refined than they look. Of course, I don't really share their taste in food. I tend to prefer a good seagull steak to adventure hook. <laughs> All right, that seems pretty legit. I mean, he is cooking bananas, story seems real. I got a feeling our little uh, throat slicer guy, he's probably the culprit. Okay, so now we need to go talk to the cannibal chef to verify Fat Bob's story. He's located at 30 comma 9, so let's head over there and talk to the chef. Wow, now that is a cooking pot. Oh my, we got feet, fish, bones. Man, what kind of, what'd he kill to get a slice of steak that size? Oh my goodness. Oh, you look at this, he's got dressings on the tables he's a legit chef that's for sure we can't knock him for his his cooking abilities <laughs> you meat me eat you sometimes ike you stink like old rot carcass you not go near cook pot <laughs> with all the other stuff he's got up there why would he care if we stink that bad <laughs> oh i know why he's a chef he has standards <laughs> Ask if you spoke to Fat Bob recently. 
Me talk long time with pirate last night. Me patient. That good quality, me knows. Meat not good when cooked not take time. Fat Bob promises give me recipe for La Cruche Tart. Alright, Fat Bob checks out. So I believe that means we go back up and talk to Throat Slicer. <laughs> throat Slicer. Confront him again about his story. Alright, Throat Slicer. We don't believe you. Accuse him of lying. Yeah, I lied. The bone of my little finger tells me that you've had yourself a polliver with Mama Voodoo. I'm sure she's the reason we all got changed into walking skeletons. I'm going to take everything she owns, and then I'm going to slit her throat. You want to get the amulet back? Come and get it. Attack! Well, let's see. Can everybody jump in on this? All right, we're going to have the whole team jump in. It may only count for smoking, though, and I might have to do it a few times. But let's see. We have you seriously out numbered seriously outnumbered yeah. i'll probably even get the challenge just because you don't stand a chance Ooh, nice little try there buddy oh i just remembered i think i still have my idols on too see ya okay only smoking got it now let me bust out this fight with the rest of the characters real fast all right, got the amulet on all four characters. Now we need to go talk to Mama Voodoo and give her her amulet back. All right, Mama Voodoo, we are back. Show her the amulet. You find necklace? Reaches out for it greedily. Back away and ask if she's the one responsible for casting the spells that transform the pirates. Me is recognized strong voodoo magic, but me not do this. No, Moon is change pirates. They is offend island god. You give me amulet if you want Ginzinguku. Shrug your shoulders and hand over the amulet. Ties the pendant around her neck and grins broadly. You not so stupid as pirate. Me put seed in glass jar. Open the jar and put the seed inside. Takes the jar and fills it with several brightly colored powders. Mother Earth, you feed small seed. Waves hands while uttering magical words. Ai ai. Shabnigrakth. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> Hakuna Matata. <laughs> Wonder where she got those words. Oh, spits in the jar. Watch the witch's mumbo jumbo. Father Moon, you sprout little seed. Death or Mua Mua. Brandishes amulet. Observe that the tiny green seedling has sprouted up in the jar. Shoot still fragile. You want make offering to Moon? You give him Genzinguku Moon Root. Ask how to get the root. You look after young shoot. Bury shoot with fertilizer at foot great totem. Fertilizer on jungle plant forbidden. When you have root, you go see servant in front moon door. Head to the forest. All right. Well, that completes another step in our Dokuku. Let's look at the quest. Coco boy. Ooh, look at that. We are almost there. Okay, so that's probably gonna wrap it up for this video. So my plan is on the next quest video, we should have our babies. So we'll pick up the last of the babies. We'll come over here, finish up the Dokuku, and then we'll start moving forward with the Emerald Dofus quest line again. So that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. Thank you guys so much for coming by, checking out another episode. Thank you for all your support. I really appreciate everything you're doing to spread the word about my channel and all the great feedback you give me on my videos. I really appreciate that. If you could do me one quick favor and smack that like button, helps you to promote my video and my channel and let people know that I'm here. Also, if you wanna make sure you don't miss out on any of my future content or when I go live, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you get alerted for those. That's everything I got. Be safe out there and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>